I want to share with you five real life reasons why you might want to avoid getting a tattoo apprenticeship. Trust me, I've been through it all myself and I've heard the horror stories from many of my students too. But don't worry, I've got a solution for you. I'll share the alternative way to achieve your tattoo dreams and I'll even throw in some info about my online course as well, complete with awesome student results and an unbeatable price. Now, if you just want to learn the truth about the tattoo apprenticeship system, that's totally cool. Bail out at the end of this video, no harm done. But if you are interested in an alternative and avoiding all the pitfalls that I'm about to reveal, stick around. I'll even sweeten the deal with a little thank you treat. Okay, so let's get started. The first point is all about how insanely difficult it is to find an apprenticeship. Trust me, I've been there and it can be extremely discouraging. I was turned down by around 15 shops and it definitely took a hit to my self-esteem. Don't even get me started on the fact that most artists are too busy doing what they do best to even think about teaching someone else. And then there are those shops that take on one apprentice after another after another. There's something fishy there. Do you really want to be taught by someone who has no customers and has got the time to constantly be working with apprenticeships? I don't think so. And I can't even tell you how many of my students have told me that they've experienced the same thing. But wait, it gets worse. Some women have even been turned down because they're supposedly not attractive enough I mean, seriously, what does physical appearance have to do with tattooing ability? It's honestly disgusting, and those artists should be kicked out of the industry. The tattoo industry is finally starting to get recognition globally, but it's idiots like those that are preventing us from being taken seriously. Moving on to point two that I want to cover, let's talk about the elephant in the room the little to no wage situation. Trust me, it's not just a problem for you. It's a conundrum for all of us. I know it sounds obvious, but let me assure you that it hits you like a ton of bricks when you're actually in that position. When I wanted to become a tattooist, I wasn't a sprightly young kid. I had a whole family to support, a partner who didn't work, and I had to pay all the bills. To make ends meet, I had to work full time. But here's the catch tattoo apprenticeships don't pay squat. You can't actually become a professional tattoo artist without working your way up from the bottom. So when I tried to land an apprenticeship at one of those fancy shops, they all turned me down because I couldn't commit full time without earning money. It's like being stuck in between a rock and an hard place. You can't just toss as income out of the window for a couple of years while learning the ropes. It just doesn't make sense. So what do we do? That's the million dollar question. Well, I'll be going over an alternative shortly in great detail. So just bear with me. The next point that I want to make is a very important one, I think. The tattooist will be busy tattooing if they're good. And then on top of that, there are the daily jobs like dealing with customers, consultations, and the general operations of running a shop. How many of them do you honestly think have sat down and thought, right, this is how the apprentice needs to learn and in this particular order. This is what they'll learn on day one. This is what they'll learn on day two and so on. Now I may be throwing an arrow into dark here, but I'm guessing out of the thousands of artists that take on apprenticeships, that either none or literally a handful have got a solid plan for their apprenticeships to follow. This is the part that really baffles me because to learn a new skill that is progressive, we need a structured plan. I can remember starting uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. I went to a few different classes and the coach would be demonstrating the moves and positions. Then we'd all drill them again and again. Now I was brand new and didn't understand 99% of what he were actually saying. I didn't have the basics or a solid foundation. I needed to know how to get into that position in the first place. 
how to get out of that position if needed. Needless to say, when I were rolling with all the lads, I literally got rolled up and smothered. Same as if you want to learn motocross. You don't just jump on a bike and then head straight towards jumps. You learn how to ride in a particular order. First on flat ground and learn clutch control and the basic turns and stops. Then slowly round a track without jumps until you've had a real feel for the bike and taking bends correctly. Then you might start with small jumps and gradually build skill and confidence. You see, if we think about it, we'll learn everything in the same way. But for some reason, when it comes to learning someone how to tattoo, we have a totally different approach. Just watch me and clean up is the most often attitude. I don't know about you, but it just doesn't make any sense to me at all. Until now, there's never been a day-by-day -day guide for someone to learn how to tattoo that has never held a machine. There are loads of courses out there, yeah, but the ones that I've looked at are the same as the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu coach, showing things that are not suitable for a complete beginner. Well, I wanted to change that and I have. If you're thinking about getting an apprenticeship, make sure you're learning things in the correct order. Trust me, you're not gonna learn a single thing sat watching someone that has been tattooing for years, sat doing a portrait. You need to learn the basics that you then master until your capabilities allow you to progress onto a portrait. Let's talk about something important in the world of apprenticeships, cleaning. Now, don't get me wrong, I always made my apprentices clean the shop too. But the difference is I'm right there with them, rolling my sleeves up and getting down to it. Keeping a clean, tidy shop is everybody's responsibility, not just the apprentices. Unfortunately, some apprenticeships end up turning into a full-time cleaning gig for the poor apprentice, while the other artists sit back and enjoy the ride. That's just ridiculous. It's not payment for learning how to tattoo. It's basically unpaid manual labor, making drinks, cleaning up after everyone else, and becoming the shop skivvy. It's all part of a so-called tattoo apprenticeship. It's really shocking that this has been going on for years and it's looked at as acceptable. I mean, I wouldn't treat an animal like that, let alone another person. Let's change the narrative and make sure everyone takes responsibility for keeping the shop clean and tidy, not just an apprentice. This is another prime example from one of my students. Nathan was a tattoo enthusiast with dreams of becoming a masterful artist. He'd heard that in order to become the best, you need an apprenticeship at a reputable shop. So he sought one out. After months of looking, Nathan found he thought was the perfect opportunity and eagerly took it. But Nathan soon realized that the apprenticeship wasn't what he expected. Instead of getting to watch, learn and practice his craft, all he were asked to do was clean up after the other artists in the shop and run errands for them. After months of feeling like a skivvy and not learning anything about tattooing, he started to feel hopeless and despondent. Constantly cleaning and tidying started to cause emotional stress and problems that prevented him from even practicing. He felt like a slave and not an artist, but he were afraid to quit because of the pressure that he'd put on himself to become a tattooist. His situation were becoming increasingly desperate. As the days passed, his passion for tattooing slowly faded away. As the stress of constantly cleaning and tidying up took its toll on him emotionally. The thought of quitting was so daunting, but it was no closer to becoming a masterful tattooist than when he originally started. Now I've heard so many stories like Nathan's and I'm sure that you have too. In fact, too many to be honest. The question is, what would you do if you were in that situation? It's a tough decision to make. On one hand, you've been waiting a long time to break into the industry and may feel like you can't let cleaning work get in the way of that. But on the other hand, you may feel like you're not progressing in your learning or at the speed that you should be because you're just constantly cleaning instead. Fortunately, Nathan eventually found the courage to try something new. He decided to take an online tattoo course and learn so much more than he ever could have imagined whilst at the shop. The course was interactive, 
detailed, informative and user friendly. After months of feeling like a skivvy in his apprenticeship, Nathan finally felt proud again as he discovered the ins and outs of tattooing. Again, Nathan's story is a reminder that sometimes you have to take risks in order to achieve your dream. Apprenticeships are not always the best way to learn the craft of tattooing. So don't be afraid to try something new. With dedication, hard work, determination, you can become the tattooist that you've always dreamed of, just like Nathan did. It's inspiring stories like Nathan's that remind us we should never give up on our dreams. No matter how difficult things may seem, sometimes we just need to listen to someone that genuinely wants us to become successful. One last point that I want to reiterate is the issue of full-time employment. It posed a major obstacle for me when I was trying to break into the industry. Despite my willingness to devote time to developing my skills and working in someone else's shop, it proved challenging to secure a stable income for both me and my employer. However, it was not feasible for me to leave my current paying job and work at the tattoo shop without pay on a daily basis. If I was still living with my parents and without a family to spot, I'd have gladly taken the opportunity. Maybe I could have found some off the books work on my days off from the shop or before or after my apprenticeship. I didn't have an issue with putting in the effort. I would have been willing to work tirelessly to achieve my goals. However, as I mentioned before, I had a family that I needed to provide for. My main concern wasn't learning for free, but finding a way to balance it with my current job. I think the biggest challenge for 90% of people who want to learn how to tattoo is that they can't earn money while they're learning. Learning without pay just isn't the issue, but not being able to earn and learn at the same time is the unavoidable problem. I have so many stories that students falling into this category have shared with me, and they all share similarities. They're the five major issues that I've identified with the tattoo apprenticeship system. However, I also have a solution to propose. Often, the answer to a problem is quite straightforward and may even seem too good to be true. We might overlook it unintentionally, but it's actually right in front of us. I intend to share information about my online course, including its content and some of the work that my current students have produced. As a token of my appreciation, I'm also offering an exclusive discount to you as a thank you for listening. Of course, if this course isn't suitable for you, there's no pressure to purchase and I wish you all the best. Additionally, I have a ton of free content available on my YouTube channel that can help you get started in the right direction. I am committed to enhancing the tattoo industry and I'm currently providing a 30-day comprehensive tattooing course for completely free. The course covers fundamental topics and is designed to be simple to understand with step-by-step -step instructions that naturally build one upon the other. Just head over to my YouTube channel and take a look for yourself. Before we begin, I'd like to introduce myself. Recently, I've observed that several artists on YouTube who haven't achieved success in their field offering lessons and courses. It doesn't seem logical to me. It's like learning maths from somebody who's not good at it themselves. When I was 18, I started tattooing on and off. In 2013, I opened my first shop. Unfortunately, I couldn't have a normal apprenticeship due to my family obligations. Hence, I struggled for the first few years of growing my business. However, I persevered and eventually become one of the top 1% of artists worldwide in a business aspect. I built a loyal customer base from scratch, where people even flew in just to have me do the tattoos. Although I'm not claiming to be the best artist in the world, I'm proud of the success that I've achieved so far. I'm familiar with the process of making significant progress within the tattoo industry, starting from scratch and achieving virtually limitless opportunities. I want to demonstrate how to do exactly that to you. If getting a tattoo apprenticeship isn't the right choice for you as a beginner, don't worry. I've created a comprehensive 32 plus week course that starts from scratch and teaches you everything from how to hold a tattoo machine to creating lifelike portraits. 
I'll soon share with you the daily lessons included in the course as if you'd just purchased it yourself. In less than a year, you could become a skilled artist. I'll share with you some examples of my successful students soon to help you understand how the system works. Some of these students have now opened their own shops worldwide and established their own reputation in the industry. It's a simple process and you can do it too. Firstly, let's discuss the clear advantages of this opportunity. One, you don't need to clean up after others. Two, it won't interfere with your current job. This is particularly helpful for those of you that have got other obligations. I wish I had this option available to me when I started, since that was the major obstacle that I had to face. Three, you have the freedom to work and schedule the course at your own pace. There's no specific time to start or finish the work. You can log in according to your convenience and take the lessons as frequent as you want or whenever you have the free time. I could sit and list a thousand reasons, but I'm confident that you understand the advantages of having lessons readily accessible compared to the traditional approach of undergoing an apprenticeship. Listen, I'm not an amazing sales person. I'll sit and list a ton of examples. I'm sure that you can think of a load of reasons yourself. I just want to show you what I've made and then it's up to you to decide it's the right fit and solves all of your previous problems. Before we begin examining, I'd just like to mention one more thing. Tattoo artists suggest that the best way to learn is by being physically present in a tattoo shop and being taught in person through observation. To illustrate this, imagine being in a studio and closely observing an artist do line work while carefully listening to their explanation as they're doing it. You're listening so hard that your ears start to vibrate. Your eyes start to strain because you're so focused. Then, once the line work is finished, you say, that's brilliant, can you show me again? Um, well, no, it's done now. Do you think in that situation, you would benefit if you pulled out your phone and instead of just watching, you videoed what was happening and been said. Listen, it doesn't take a rocket science to know that that'd be a good thing to do. If it didn't sink in the first time round, you could literally re-watch it a thousand times if needed. Hey, imagine if you'd then printed the same design out onto some practice skin and not only watched and listened to the lessons being taught, but also followed along and actually practiced what you'd just learned. Hello, that's exactly my point and what I've created. How anyone in the right mind can think about this and then still turn around and say you need an apprenticeship to learn how to tattoo. It just doesn't make sense. Once you log in, the course will appear with a progress section on the left hand side. In my case, it shows zero because I'm in preview mode. The course is divided into modules for easy learning. I want to give you a brief explanation of what the modules are and the general idea of what they involve. Naturally, I can't explain every lesson as there are so many it would take hours, but what it will do is give you a good insight. Module zero serves as an introduction to the course. It consists of a video that explains the course layout, structure, and how to maximize its benefits. Additionally, there's a video that provides instructions on how to join the private Facebook group exclusive to TMP members. This group is so valuable and I'll show you what other people have got to say about it. So you'll see what I mean. Trust me, it is one of a kind among tattoo groups. We haven't had a single person criticizing or attacking anyone. If you upload your work, people will give you feedback in a constructive, friendly manner, pointing out areas that you might have missed. We're all united within as goals. The next module is module one, which covers equipment and fundamentals. In this module, we'll discuss the items required for the course, how to set up your practice stations, machine setup, common errors, and everything that you need to know about tattoo needles. It's recommended that you watch this section initially because it covers all the details that you need to know before beginning your tattoo journey. Next, we have module two, mastering the basics. This is where it all begins really, from tattooing straight lines to curved lines and learning how to join lines invisibly 
circles, then putting what we've learned together and tattooing the line work of a few cool designs like mandalas and roses. Then we get to grips with different size liners so we learn how they all respond differently. Next we start doing dot work to help with needle control and also build up a bit of hand-eye coordination and muscle memory, solid black different shades and how to create smooth effortless blends. Then we bring it all together and put it into practice by tattooing some 3D shapes, a ball, cube and cylinder. Then we do a few more designs and drills as well as line work methods in this module. Moving on to module 3, welcome to the round shader. Next we'll purely focus on getting used to using a round shader for an entire module. Firstly I'll explain the needle and how it differs from a lining needle. Then we'll learn and drill the main three areas of packing, whip shading and brush shading. Followed by, as always, five designs that put everything that you've just learned into practice. After we've practiced line work, dot work and shading with the round shader, we move on to learning how to use the magnum needles. I'll teach you how to fill in solid areas, whip and brush shade. Use the corners of the needle and even how to use the magnum needle for lining. The course includes simple lessons and practice drills to help you grasp the tattooing technique better and quicker. After that, we'll work on five designs together to apply what you've learned. We'll also revisit previous lessons to reinforce your understanding and retention of that information. This is crucial since we'll be lining the tattoos before shading them, giving us the ideal opportunity to review the lining techniques again and again and again. I want to make sure that you don't just blindingly follow me during this course. My goal is for you to develop your own unique style as an artist. To achieve this, I'll be covering all the methods and techniques that I personally use, as well as methods that I've learned but don't necessarily prefer. As an example, I rarely use a round shader needle. However, I've included it in the course because some artists prefer and rely on round shaders. It makes sense to me that the course content should be comprehensive and not based on personal preferences just by me. As an artist, you can choose the right techniques that you find comfortable using. This approach is different from other courses that provide strict instructions such as use this specific tool for this task. I disagree with that statement. Even if every world-class artist were given the same design, they would all approach it different, using various techniques and needles at different times. I don't want to teach someone to limit the creativity in this way. I hope that explanation makes sense to you. Next, we'll discuss the stipple module, which is currently my favourite section. It may seem strange because as artists, as preferences can change over time. For example, we may prefer using a 13 mag for months and then switching to a large round shader. Then we might finally settle on stipple shading. This is because we're always striving to improve and thus need to experiment with different techniques and methods. Again, I'll cover the packing, whip and brush shading using this method and needle configuration. Then we put it all into practice with five follow along designs. Also using these to recap everything that you've previously covered that's relevant. Next, we move on to the grey wash module where we learn what grey wash is, the difference between a grey wash set and an opaque black and grey set. Then we'll review the methods of shading that we've already covered, but this time instead of just using black ink and solely relying on hand and machine speed, we'll be learning how to use the grey wash systems to make everything buttery smooth. Then we do the same design three times using different methods for each so we can visually compare the results. Like I keep saying, I've spent years designing this course and there is no stone left unturned. In the following section, I'll discuss the rules of success and share my insights on what it takes to excel as a tattoo artist. I will also highlight some of the mistakes that I made along the way so you can avoid them and expedite your learning process. By following these guidelines, you can give your tattoo career the best possible start and increase your chances of success. At this point in the course, you've learned all the fundamental skills necessary 
to tattoo and have developed a solid understanding. This phase can be compared to learning how to swim, where you've progressed from a beginner to someone who can swim independently. You're now able to go swimming with your friends without needing supervision from parents or guardians. Now that you know the basics and can perform them, the next phase is crucial. By striving for continual improvement through dedicated effort and concentration, I aim to guide you from a beginner swimmer to an Olympic level athlete. All the modules have the same format, I'll explain each module and go through the designs with you. This is essential because before we do a tattoo, we need to learn how to look at an image and analyze it in our minds. We need to decide which needles to use, what method to use, whether to use brush shading or whip shading for certain areas of a tattoo. We'll work on six designs per module together. I'll demonstrate to you my approach to the design and you can learn from it. After that, you can print the design and redo the designs using your own methods and experimenting with different techniques. Again, to clarify, I don't just want you to simply copy what I do. The goal of this course is for you to develop your own unique artistic style. For each upcoming module, you have the freedom to choose the final design. This is where many of my current students make significant progress. You get to select the design that is appropriate for the module, which will allow us to better understand the types of designs that you would like to work on in the future. So the modules include traditional designs, really focusing on solid lines and bold blends, script designs. This really does put the line work to the test and shading in small delicate areas. Mandala designs, again really putting into practice getting line work down to a T. Small delicate designs, these are hugely popular currently and you need to get used to using the smallest needles to master these designs, not an easy thing to do at all. Filigree designs, again these designs look amazing and can be used with many different styles. Flower designs. These are great for developing every artist because they can be done in so many different ways. So we'll be experimenting a lot in this module. Japanese designs. Another popular design that you will no doubt be doing at some stage of your career. Horror theme module. I love this section at court because it brings out the dark side and really helps us understand contrast and how it affects the design. Egyptian theme module. These designs are so popular and test everything, helping to push you to that next level. A texture module. Now these aren't really standalone designs as such, but they take a closer look at how to tattoo different textures, which is vital for later on in the course when we start doing portraits. A scenery and nature module. I really enjoy this one. It's like converting a wall painting onto somebody's skin, which is great for learning depth and composition. Then we have a trash polka module. We introduce a bit of color in this theme. Again, some really nice designs that touch on everything that we've learned so far. Next, we have a break from the designs and I go over the do's and don'ts when using white ink. Then we cover the design fundamentals where I cover the basics of designing a tattoo using both Procreate and Photoshop, two of the most used programs in the tattoo industry. Then we get to the more advanced area of the course animal and human portraiture. At this stage, you've done hundreds of designs. Now it's time to turn it up a notch. We focus on one aspect at a time, almost like looking at the tattoo through a microscope. Then an animal eye module. These really do put everything into practice and push you to focus on making something look more realistic. Then the full animal portrait module where we'll complete seven full animal portraits with the last one being a design of your own choice. Next, you'll receive a brief on our approach to human portraiture and the most common mistakes people make when learning how to tattoo portraits. It is essential that you listen and more importantly, follow this advice. We break them down into human eyes, ears, mouths, nose, hair, 
Then just like everything else in the course, we bring it all together with seven full portraits, with the last one being the free choice. The final module of the course is what's next. We have a recap of how far you have come from literally day one right through to the very end. Then we go over the different options from owning your own shop to working in somebody else's shop. The plan moving forward, making sure that you have all the correct documents and insurances in place. Then we have my plan for you to transition everything that you've learned on the course and how to move it from fake mats to real live people. This is mentally the hardest part of the course. It's essential you don't run before you can walk. As you can see, we literally cover everything that you could ever think of in a clear and structured way. All the images in this video are from real people who only months ago were sat listening to a video similar to this. Many of the students are now in their own shops or working in someone else's from all around the world. We've had new tattoo shops open here in the UK. Cyprus, Texas, Australia, literally everywhere. This course works. It really is that simple. So now, the fun part. How much does all this cost? Well, like I said, as a thank you, I'm gonna give you a huge gift. Don't get me wrong, it's not gonna be completely free, but it is gonna be more than affordable for something that could potentially change your life forever, if you're prepared to put in the effort. But only you can answer that. You can all go to the website now and see that it's currently just over 3,500, give or take, which is still a bargain for what you're gonna get. Put it this way, after you've been tattooing for a few years like myself, if someone said to me, Ben, if you want to keep all of your skills and your job, you're gonna have to pay me 3,500. I'd literally pull out my wallet and pay. That's because I'm living the results of what the course teaches. I work when I want. I have a laugh with my customers. I'm known worldwide for my work and I can work anywhere I want and go on holidays to anywhere. Just throw a dart at a map and think, yep, that's my next destination. If I had to pay a hundred thousand pound, I would because it's my life and I know what it's worth. Let's imagine, like many have, that you buy the course today and get everything that I've just shown you for the full price. Just as an example, bear with me. 3,500 or just over. Now you may be thinking that's too much, but let's be honest with ourselves. It's something that you will earn from for the rest of your working life. But let's just say we spread that cost over the next year. Well, that works out at less than £9.60 per day for the year. You can literally change your life and career for less than a tenner a day for a year. But wait, not only is it less than a tenner, guess what? You can do it in your own time and still work to support your family at the same time. That's less than a tenner, even if you were to buy the course at the full price, which isn't gonna be you. We could also say this, do you get a coffee on your way to work? Do you smoke? Do you get a family takeaway on weekends? Do you eat out throughout the week? Well, the course will cost you less than a packet of cigarettes a day here in the UK. Less than getting a family takeaway on a weekend. People have no problems wasting money on things that aren't really important. But when it comes to something that pushes you forward in life, we all seem to sit back and watch the opportunity pass straight by. I'm gonna be bold here and say this. If having a coffee from Costa or buying cigarettes every day is more important to you than following your dream and providing a life for you and your family, then I want you to stop the video now. Some people are go-getters and some people will sit on the fence for the rest of their lives coming up with one excuse after another. Now, I'm a straight to point person and I'm not a salesman. I just want to show you what I have, give you an unmissable offer, an opportunity to change your life entirely. Then it's up to you what you want to do with it. Let's just quickly recap what you're going to actually get. The full course from literally never holding a machine to doing portraits that follows an easy to follow system. Here's just some of the work from the students. This could be you in just a few months time. You also get to join the private Facebook group on Facebook. This must be the best place for tattooists on the internet. There hasn't been any negativity in the group or anyone pulling anyone down who's struggling. In fact, it is the total opposite. 
and people have been literally making new friends in the industry from all around the world. It's mind blowing to be honest. You can complete it in your own time. You can fit the course around your current schedule and work commitment. Even more important, you can still be earning while you're learning. No need to become a skivvy for a couple of years, cleaning and mopping around after everyone else. And all of this for less than what you would spend on a packet of cigarettes a day for a year or a family meal out every week. And that's if you were to buy the course at the full price. Well, here it is. Go to Tattoo Method Pro and click the full course. Click buy, enter your details, and then click the coupon code button. Then enter web gift. The price will pop up. That's web in caps and then gift in lower case. This is literally an offer that you can't refuse really. If buying the course at full price, when broken down over a year to change your life is less than a tenner a day, then this offer could literally be less than what you'd lose out back of your sofa. Why am I doing this? Well, I want to help you. It's not all about the money for me. It's about helping as many people as possible. I hated that it was so hard to get my foot into the industry. And it's my mission to change that for as many people as possible, starting with you. Lastly, for those of you that think, well, what if I can't do it? Or it's just not for me. What do I do then? I have a full 30 day, 100%, no questions asked, money back guarantee. So let's look at the best and the worst case scenario. That's how I like to look at things. You buy the course today for this unmissable offer. You absolutely love it. Become an amazing tattooist and have a lifelong career enjoying the fruits of your hard work. That's obviously the best outcome, which is the aim of the course. However, let's say for whatever reason, you hate the course. Heaven forbid you just decide that in fact, you don't actually want to be a tattooist anymore. It's just not for you, for whatever reason. Just let me know within the 30 day window and I'll give you every penny back, no questions asked. It's literally 100% risk free. It either works and you absolutely love it or you walk away with a full refund deposited back into your account. Personally, I don't see any other way I can make this any easier or fairer for you, do you? This offer can't last forever and it'll be running for a short time only. Basically, you need to make a decision now. This offer gets rid of any excuses that you've been telling yourself. You either want it or you don't. But either way, let's start as we mean to go on and make a decision. And that's not saying buy the course, but just make a decision for yourself. You either want to do it or you don't. Web gift is the code that you need i'll leave the huge discount reveal as a secret but like i said it's something that you can't refuse thank you for listening and i'll see you soon inside the course hurry this isn't gonna last forever see you soon